Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch on a very, very cold but very, very pleasant ish January 2024 day. And we have found 10 minutes now to do our latest installation of our monthly vlogs. I've not done one in ages since December and uh, we've been really busy so stock has changed a lot. We've had a lot of arrivals of some new stuff, some of it's actually for sale and we've got some really really nice used stock as well. So our monthly vlog is this where we have a look around the forecourt, see what's changed, what's going on in the industry and such like. So I've sold motorhomes 21 years now and back in the day you used to get to you get October NEC out of the way, you'd get the dartboard out, you'd put your feet up and surf in for the rest of the year. Now these days it's not like that, it's really really busy year round. Uh, the last few years January's been one of the best months of the year. It's been a slightly slower start, probably weather related this year, as much that it is lovely in South Devon, it's also about minus two. So it's a little bit chilly, but what we are seeing is those that are coming out are very serious people, and uh, we've had a really good start to the year, and we've sold vans to people from Hertfordshire today, from Lancashire, Cheshire, and someone come over from Southend in Kent to have a look yesterday. So it's been really, really good. Now, new van deliveries wise. Uh, obviously I do individually uh, video all the stock but we've got a really good array. It's a great time of year to look this now because we've got a great array of new and new stock. Now if you remember the December vlog for those who do watch them we were rammed down the middle everywhere. Uh, it's not quite like that now for a nice little run of, uh, of, of sales which has thinned them out a little bit but there's still a great level of stock. Um, now it is show season now, so we've got Exeter show coming up last weekend of the month, which is only a little show. It's not worth travelling the length of the country to go to, but you get five or six dealers and some accessory stands up at West Point in Exeter, which for us is only 15 minutes over there. So we'll we'll take 10 vans up there and still have a full forecourt back at base for people to look at. And then of course we're into February NEC show, which isn't as big a motorhome show as it once was, but it's still a great place to go and see a lot of things. And you get camping, accessories, tents, boats, planes trains and automobiles all in the same place so we'll be going up there and manning the uh, Adria and the Wild Axe stand for ourselves so speaking of Wild Axe we've got a really good lineup of new and and a couple of used Wild Axes as well as we go around now this one I'm about to do a video on this one's a uh, Constellation XL so we've not had one of these in a while so with Wild Axe they've got a really good supply of Fiat's and MAN's coming through at the moment um, which is great so we're getting a steady two three four a month so if you want one built to your specification you can but we do have stock units available as well of most popular models which is a, a lovely place to be in so you're not gonna have to wait six months the price goes up and then your van turns out to be the wrong color which is superb so this is the Constellation XL this is the 6.34 meter one we can order these as a six as well and it is locked that is so annoying <laughs> so annoying it literally got delivered yesterday uh, so we've got to open that up but it's a big front lounge massive kitchen nothing else quite like it is the layout that all van conversions used to be um it's very much like a longer version of the Pulsar. Now with the Pulsars, uh, there was a bit of a glut of 5.4 metre medium wheelbase fans delivered. Um, so we found ourselves with a couple in stock. So that means we are actually able to discount them. Yeah, D for discount. So we are doing a fantastic offer on Pulsar Mark II, which is a 5.4 metre van with four seatbelts, toilet and shower at 74.995. So that's a saving of, uh, we've got a couple of different specs, but a saving of up to sort of four or five thousand pounds. So you've got front lounge, with two seat belts, side kitchen, corner washroom with toilet and shower, and a big storage locker there, where you've got a couple of infill cushions that makes this into single beds, or you can use it as a double bed, and you've got really big storage. Automatic, diesel electric heating and hot water, 12 volt fridge, solar panel, all included, barbecue point, choice of cloth or leather in two different colors. Uh, for special offer price 74.995, cheapest in the country. We've got Solaris XL demo, that's the side bunks. It's always been our best seller. Um, this year it's sort of up there fighting the Europa in the best seller stakes. Wild Axe's best selling, most famous van. Versatility stacked single beds, 
big front lounge, four berth, four seat belts without a raising roof. Uh, we've got a auto, I think, this is a manual this one, I think we've got an auto as well. Um, so we've got, again, immediate availability with Solaris XL. Only until we sell one, though, once they've gone, the other one has to stay. So as I say, now's a great time nipping before the show. The Europa, it's been a really good seller this year. N Lounge. Got two of these in stock, this auto and a manual. So again, one is available. We order them with this beautiful black full leather, but you can have cloth if you prefer. Two berth luxury N lounge model, big six foot N sofas make single beds or a double toilet and shower swivel cab seats. This is an auto, we've got a manual in stock if you want to save a bit of money. And again, immediate availability, but only of one. Wildex Altair RS, the flagship gas-free van, full lithium triple solar, based on the 6.8 meter MAN. This is the fixed single beds at the back one. Again, full leather if you want cloth. We've got cloth available. Single beds over a big rear garage, and uh, world's first, arguably from big manufacturer production model completely gas free so you're basically free of electric as well if you want because you're completely self-propelled with your big solar electric setup look at that really big storage at the back as well so we've got cloth and leather ones available over there is the end lounge version these are individually videoed on the YouTube page too if you want links send in to you give us a ring leave us a comment whatever uh, again, this is something else where most of the MANs arrived at the same time, so we sort of got our year's allocation in one go, so when they're gone, they're gone, but the minute they're available. And then there's an Aurora Leisure XL, another great seller. Again, immediate availability. Automatic gearbox on this one, we've got manual as well. This one's in R10 Scray, which is the metallic colour, and that's an end lounge at the back. Single front dinette, three berth, three seat belt, makes a good size it's a flat single bed there. And a really good kitchen, big fridge, freezer, microwave. Um, all in 6.34 meters. Again, I can't remember if we've got manual and auto, but pretty much immediate availability there. And this one's just arrived. This is a six meter fixed bed. So it's taken on the Europeans with a European layout. Not something you see on dealers for quite so often in Aurora, but I like these. So you've got the same front lounge as the Aurora Leisure, but you've got a fixed rear bed to the back. Now that can all fold away to give you full height storage if you wish. Do excuse it being a little bit dark here. We've got the toilet and shower, fridge up here, storage beneath, pull out worktop there, very clever. Proper oven, no microwave in this one. You do get it with the XL version, which has got the bigger fridge and the microwave. Uh, this is our only one of these, but I think we'd probably let it go. I don't know, have a chat to us. But yeah, lots of wild axes you can actually buy, which is pretty cool. And uh, what's really cool are the two hillside hoptums which have just arrived. We love these. I've just put a video up, uh, or I've just done a video of these individually. We've got two of these. One's available, the other one's got to stay as a display model. Got someone nearly bought this one today, it's only been in a day. Look at this N lounge, six meters. Ridiculous ridiculous build quality you know, if you could touch this that is like a slab of marble based on the Volkswagen Crafter this one's badged as an MAN so the MAN TGE swivel passenger seat eight speed torque converter automatic cab blinds now these are around about 84 this one's 180 horsepower auto we've got a 140 auto in silver which is down there um, which you could have instead again once one is sold normally you've been waiting for years to get them um, but what a good looking van it is too the other one's in silver with alloys and some extra specs so it comes in as a 140 brake for around about the same price about 84 but it's got an awning they've got solar barbecue point external shower um, on the MAN TGE which is a Volkswagen Crafter by any other name there's a couple of compasses left, so we're doing deals on these. This is down to 63, compass navigator with the uh, the N lounge, narrow body, two berth N lounge, one down to 63,000 brand new. This is an Aldis Accordo by any other name. Simple layout, twin sofas, six foot at the back. Swivel cab seats to the front, side kitchen. That's a narrow body, lightweight coach built. It's got the alloys, the panoramic front window cab blinds. 
I think this is our last Avangard 150, brand new, 71,000 reduced to 68. It's uh, again a narrow body, lightweight, three and a half ton island bed. It's 7.3 meters, but it's only 2.2 wide. It's six inches narrower at the front than the competition. Twin swivel cab seats, uh, twin sofa lounge with seat belts underneath, and a low island bed to the back. Brand new, unregistered, three year warranties for the price of a second hand van. New demo shows on Titanium Ultimate 640, the best selling motorhome in the whole country, or it feels like it's only for us shows on dealers. We sell 40 of these a year. Seven metre, three and a half ton, mega spec, like sat nav camera, awning, solar panel, twin batteries, all standard. This one's got the new upholstery. This is our display model, but um, we've got <coughs> availability for these at the moment, up until the NEC, when I doubt they'll all sell. You could have be on the road in April, maybe in one of these. King size drop down bed, big kitchen, and a full width end bathroom with a garage beyond and a huge internal storage locker. These are the best selling vans, certainly one of the best selling vans I've ever sold, big fridge freezer. Got an oven with a dual fuel hob. So sat nav automatic, 170 horsepower. So talk to us about availability, but come and have a look at this one first. Alloy wheels, all standard, standard kit that. Shows on X550, um, narrow body, six meters. Uh, very, very funky modern styling. Shows on lead the way in many aspects of many things. Um, look at this, nothing else quite like this on the market. So it's the size of a van conversion. You've got a drop down table there with a twin sofa lounge with seat belts and a drop down bed above. And then a little end washroom to the back there with a mid kitchen. It is compact, but it's certainly different anyway. Uh, Fiat Cato X8 9 speed auto. They're a lot of money, these are like 86 grand, that, but they are a niche vehicle. Um, but they certainly scratch an itch. This was a customer cancellation, this one. This is now going to be kept for display. One of the, another best-selling van Adri Compact Supreme DL I'm gonna come out and do a video of this one in a minute as well but this is a 6.99 meter lightweight three and a half ton premium continental van what a good looking van that is isn't it that's fantastic isn't it this particular one it's got all the packs on so it's got the the nine-speed auto uh, the R10 grey cab awning solar panels got double leisure batteries the bigger fridge and full leather uh, this one comes in around about £89,000, but we this one is, for the moment, staying on display. It's got the full cream leather. Beautiful, massive panoramic roof lights. Adria's super modern styling. I'll come out when it's lighter tomorrow and do a proper video of this one. Now, if you want one of these, we've got... They're probably one of the few dealers in the country who've got some availability of these. They're not in stock, but they're coming through soon. So... If I were at the Adria stand at the show, I'm going to be standing next to the Compact DL because these are great sellers. And so we're one of the few dealers out there right, that I'm aware of who've got some coming in and they're coming in soon as well. So the ones we've got coming in have got cloth seats instead of the leather. But apart from that, they'd be like this. They might have the uh, smaller fridge and the bigger wardrobe. But uh, yeah, what a beautiful van. Lightwood finish. Easy to drive down the country lanes. And you've got at the back a big garage space as well which is great so this one's 89 because of the bits and the leather it's got uh, pay about what 87 and a half odd without the leather use compass 196 on the end there six berth so let's just have a little little walk back down and go down camper van alley let's say it's not as full as it was so we're nicely stocked without being too rammed which is what we want really I think overall, speaking to my friends in the trade across from the country, it feels like it's gone back to normal a little bit. So prices, the new ones at the moment, aren't going up too much or haven't gone up. So, and there's a little bit better supply. There's more used stock around and it's healthy. That's how it should be. So coming into the camper vans, we've got the new Adria Active Duo. We've got a few of these. Again, another van. It seems like the base vehicle manufacturers there, um, instead of in the past where manufacturers would have them coming in throughout the year now it's a case of 
big batch, everything arrives at once. They all come in at once and then they'll disappear again for a while. So now's to say a good opportunity. This is Adria's entry into the camper van market. They've done it for years, but it's just come back into the UK. It's a little bit different. <coughs> You've got a sliding rear bench seat on rails that can come backward and forward. That becomes a double, obviously double upstairs. Two sliding doors completely empty here so you can swivel both your cab seats around very easily automatic and it's on the Renault um, traffic you've got diesel powered heating as well we've got a variety of colors this one's obviously this uh, dark maroon red sort of color if you prefer gray we've got gray we might have silvers as well and that's uh, now 63 they were a bit more than that when they were initially launched but Adria have re-looked at the price point happily and brought them down that's got the awning as well brought them down to a realistic price point and that's auto. This is a Wild Axe Proteus Sport. Everybody seems to do a transit custom camper. 69 manual gearbox in um, re oh, I can't remember the magnetic grey, that's the one. But they send these out to a customization company who fit the big body kit, the Raptor grill, the alloys. It's a great looking modern van from a proper manufacturer. You've got the bigger wheels inside. You've got a triple rear seat with three seat belts and a narrower kitchen. Slide that backward and forward. It's twin swivel cab seats. This one's got the full leather option as well. Based on the Trend Plus, you've got the uh, big screen uh, with reversing camera, diesel powered heating, roof bed obviously, five seat belts, four berth, smart bit of kit. Next to it, if you want an auto box, we've got this burnt orange non-sport one. So it doesn't have the body kit and stuff, but what you could do is slap some black alloys on it, change the graphics a bit, and you're saving some money. So that's 69 for the manual. This is 64.95. We reduced it a little bit down to 64.95. It's exactly the same inside. So what you could do, if you want an auto, cab blinds as well, buy the auto, and then add wheels and graphics and things if you want to, customize it yourself. And then there's a slightly second-hand one. This one was one that we sold new and then took back in part exchange against the caravan. So it's a manual gearbox in grey, non-sport one again, at 61. It's as good as new. A couple of glow cars have made an appearance from Germany as well. Something else which has suffered with the base vehicle problems. But we've got a 5.4 metre fixed bed globe car Road Scout R on the Fiat Ducato with the 9-speed auto box. 5.4 meters this is the auto transverse fixed rear bed bathroom that appears and disappears when you want it to be fridge is on the end there and you've got the half dinette lounge makes a bed at the front for a guest a three berth fixed bed 5.4 meters don't know when we'll get another one so that's for sale this hillside birch over classic um, it's a 110 manual got the trapezoidal sidebars got the bigger 17 inch alloys as well RIB rib bed, an SCA German roof, a Wabasto diesel powered German heating system, proper completed cab blinds, swivel passenger seat, superb build quality, very very good news that, and that's 62 but I think I'm going to reduce that to 59.95 that one, so that's under 60 grand for a Highline unregistered brand new VW camper which is great news, but if you didn't want to spend that much, what you can do, is this a price got in it? This is a pre-registered Birch Over S. So this is 53,000 brand new. It's not got the same cab spec. It's based on the start line, but it's got air con. It's got cruise as well, I think, and the step big stereo. Same RIB rib bed. It's got windows all the way around, so they're a very light van. Misses out on the diesel heating and a couple of the other features of the uh, Birch Over Classic, but you've still got proper water tanks. You've still got full VW warranty for 53,000 brand spanking new. Also brand spanking new, so we do a wide variety of camper van manufacturers. We are a bit of a destination, I think, for these. This is a Riviera from Ventura Campers who convert just over the road from us. This one's an Indian gray, pop top VW short wheelbase, brand new unregistered again. So it's registered as a camper van for your car speed limits. Because it's been built just to be a camper van, it's based on the Highline, 150 horsepower automatic. You've got a microwave, you've got a Dometic fridge freezer, you've got proper German or Basto diesel heating, you've got proper leather seats as well. High level cupboards, really big ones. 
and a pop top on top that's 67995 again it's a good value I think and for those who want a globe car with a little bit more space a six meter one there's this globe scout here which is 77 brand new it's a bit like the road scout over there the 5.4 meter one very modern inside you got the transverse rear bed you've got a, a proper the contained bathroom and then the front dinette area that makes a single bed as well German built very well built 77,000 brand new into some used camper vans now there's a camper King Monte Carlo there which we sold new took back in part exchange a very slightly used Ventura a 61.95 that's like the grey one but it's a manual gearbox it's done about 500 miles something like that in cherry red nice color big wheels very well finished inside this was uh, one that was won in one of these Facebook raffle competitions people do actually win these you know you'd be surprised here they do actually win them uh, and sometimes we buy them off of them so that's what happened with that one so that's it with the new vans so we're also agents obviously via our other brands for Swift and Hymer and things like that as well so we can supply Rapidos, Dreamers, do talk to us down here at Devon, you can buy local, we'll look after them for you but we've got a good array of stuff at the moment, again a good time of year to look before the NEC. Now we are starting to get some very premium European A-classes in as well. This Hymer BMCI 690 we have sold nearly so many times, it's thousands like 10 20 grand cheaper than any other one in the country it's one owner it's mint it's got a great spec including auto leveling it's on the mercedes uh, alco front wheel drive chassis we supplied it new we we're able to buy it back when the gentleman gave up most home it's got full black leather and um, if you google this model heimer bmci 690 uh, it's so much cheaper than the other, other one out there so it's got to go soon this is stunning, a lot of interest in this. We've got someone coming from Wales to see this at the weekend. Bubbles, the uh, 21 plate, Rapido, ultimate line, with the single beds over the garage at the back. Loads of good coach built stock. Got some Baileys, this Advance, 46.95. It's only done 4,000 miles from new. Little Eldest Signature, 115, two berth. Another premium A-Class, this is one we sold new to a regular customer of ours who decided to change it for a camper van and a caravan instead. A lot of people doing that these days, you know, getting a caravan for longer trips or more stagnant work and then a camper van to tow it with, quite different. Uh, it's an Exus I-474, so it's a narrow body, single beds over the garage, Fiat Cato Alco chassis, 9-speed auto. It's only small, it looks big, feels big, it's got big storage. Uh, it's only 6.6 .6 metres long and it's 2.2 .2 wide, so it's a narrow body, 3.5 tonne. You can drive it on your car licence, but it looks great in full silver there. This tracker, I've sold this once, it's been a bit unlucky. Um, twin sofa end lounge, British van. Swift Select 184 always sell well. Another genuine full berth, four seat belt van conversion. This Euromobile stunning, single beds and washroom. Another German van there, the Corrado. This Majestic, just been able to buy back um, from the gentleman whose wife didn't get on with it. But it's the cheapest one in the country. It's 46.95 this, and it's only done 12,000 miles. It's a uh, Two sofa and washroom. Excuse my voice is starting to go because I'm starting to freeze. Twin sofa front lounge, washroom at the back, narrow body. Again, all of these are individually videoed as well, or most of them are anyway. This is a bit different. A Rimmer Super Brig. Rimmer are an Italian company. They're part of the French Stragano group, like everybody else. Super Brig was their flagship model. It's a big six berth family van. Uh, 57995 you pay 70 plus for one of these new now it's only on 4,000 miles 7 meters 7.1 meters it's not as big as it looks but plenty of space and storage for a family uh, why are vans locked nothing should be locked that needs a clean that anyway so we'll get that cleaned and make it nice and then we've got look at all of these used van conversions this is where the market's really gone used full-size van conversions so with a quick run down of these this is what we really want so say everybody's downsizing from coach belts and upsizing from camper vans and they're all ending up in the middle with these so there's a beautiful eldest magnum uh gtv20 that's a n lounge two berth 
Next to it is 21 plate Compass CV20, which is a year newer, same van basically, slightly different spec at 52 to 95. Then look at this, it's the cheapest Volkswagen Grand California in the country with the best spec. So it's 6 metre end fixed bed, 69 to 95. Um, best colour combo, two tone, that was expensive, two tone reflex silver over Indian grey. It's automatic. Beautiful flush fit. These are built by Volkswagen or Carbon who are in-house Volkswagen basically. This one's got the pull-out roof bed for your kids or your grandkids. Fixed bed to the rear, mid washroom, an automotive, totally different, totally different from anything else. Diesel electric heating, 12 volt fridge, uh, mega spec, really cool van that. This Bursner Elysio. It's not an Elysio, it's a city car. Another six metre fixed bed van conversion. It's good news at 47,995. That was another one of them as well, another fixed bed van conversion. That's sold. Little Ort Sleeper Dorset. Same layout as that Wild Axe Pulsar, 42,995. It's a lot of money, but it's the cheapest one in the country of its age. They do internet price check our vans. A very traditional British front lounge van conversion. Very well appointed. Good condition, it's got habitation aircon. It's a lovely van to be fair, you should sell at that. Another N Lounge Wild Axe there. This is lovely, this Bilbo. This is one we sold about 18 months ago. It's a VW camper, but it's got the factory high top on it, which is rare. It's in this really nice Mojave grey, I think they called it, or Mojave beige. But it's got the other layout, it's not a side kitchen rock and roll bed. So you've got two RIB rib beds, seats. So you swivel your cab seats around and then these drop down to make single beds. To the rear, you've got a galley kitchen and a high top so you don't have to battle putting the roof up and down all the time, which is so much easier. Built by a VW approved, they do fantastic quality conversions and that's 34.95. More when I hear is a one year old Europa which was the N Lounge one from Wild Axe, based on the Citroen manual. It's in Citroen Thunder Grey. It's got all the spec that we like to add, like the awning, the solar panel. It's got the full leather, which was two grand's worth as well. So it's the same as the new ones, but it's got Citroen badge on it. And you're saving several thousand pounds and you can have one straight away. Now, if you want an automatic Europa, here's a rare one. This was one of the last Renault-based Europas ever made until 2020. Wild Axe based the Europa, which is again their two berth end lounge model, on a Renault, which is quite rare, like a big chunky Tonka toy. But in 2020, Renault brought in the latest version of the Master, which is this, and they sped up the automatic gearbox. Uh, the layout is basically the same, but a bit different. So you've got the, got the end lounge at the back there. That's all got curved LED lighting all the way through. It's beautiful. And you've got the big sort of tough Renault cab with cab blinds and uh, I think it's got nav, you've got auto box, toilet and shower 59.95 in silver as well. They were mainly sort of doom grey but this one's in in silver. Really powerful engine and uh, really torquey. Uh, it's like a, I can't remember how many horsepower it was but it was a lot and it was a lot of torque. This will sell through, it sells soon. Little Benamar Maleo, six metre, six berth six berths six meters and feels amazingly spacious inside because you've got end bunks great family van big end bunks separate shower in the bathroom good side kitchen dinette with four rear seat belts and a big double over the cab god it's cold little six meter swift escape end lounge front dinette like a van conversion but not a van conversion 6 metre narrow body, 5195, 2019 this one, it's only done 13,000 miles. Modern inside, nice thing. More camper vans. And then, let's slide through over yonder. I have just a quick look at some more used coach belts. What we find in the industry is when a van first comes in, you'll have an initial flurry of interest. And if they don't sell then, sometimes they stick a little bit, uh, and then they'll sell. Now this is a Contiki 669, big flagship. You'll pay, oh God knows what you'd pay for a new one today. 
you've got a rear island bed, front dinette with seat belts and an over cab bed, automatic 180 horsepower, 2012, uh, it's priced at just over 50, a new one, well, 120 grand, I bet you'd pay for a new one, this is the cheapest one in the country, so it has been used, is what it is, but it's not been knocked about and it's stand out the best value one out there if you've got a big family or you've got a family you need extra berth island bed auto uh, last of the 183 litre engines it's a belter that it really is burst and most of these vans we've sold before as well so this is a burstner with automatic gearbox single beds over the garage at the back these are over 100 grand today this one's a late 2018 it's only done 11,000 miles it's yours for 67,995 this we just sold the other day, that titanium. Another end lounge, Italian van, very light, modern inside. 2021 Roller Team 746. I've got no idea why this hasn't sold. I say that every month on these vlogs. This Swift Champagne's got an island bed. It's three and a half ton. It's really good spec, like awning, solar, barbecue point, external shower cab, blinds, alloys. Uh, it's spot on condition wise, it's spot on price wise, it's 17 at 49.95 and it's not sold and I don't know why. It's got TVs, got a big fridge, got a low island bed, a front lounge, panoramic skylight. Yeah, so maybe we'll reduce that a little bit, I don't know, it's strange but I don't, it's not overpriced, that's the weird thing, sometimes things just stick. Like this auto sleeper Broadway, that's not stuck, it's not long been in, but it's a luxury fixed bed model at 42.95. Auto sleeper is very expensive, van's new. Very high spec, underslung gas tank, again, solar, awning. Traditional, very traditional British inside. Is it dated or is it classically styled? I'll leave you to make up your mind. I think they're just quality, really. They're a very well finished van. That's half the price of a new one for 20,000 miles. Big Bailey autograph, every dealer's got one. This one's only done a thousand miles at 77.95 with an island bed at the back. And then a Shos on Titanium 720, that's the drop down bunks. I sold this new at the NEC show. Lovely previous owner from Wales picked it up, went down to Spain in it, and he just wasn't going to be getting away. He's got projects and stuff, so he sold it back to us. So it's the latest one, it's a Titanium Ultimate, so that means it had the Auto, the 170 brake engine, the cab blinds, the alloy wheels, the external shower, the barbecue point, the solar panel, the twin ledger batteries, the awning, all the standard, and then we fitted mirror guards, an alarm tracker, a mobiliser, and a TV aerial to it as well. So it's got everything. So you've got a front lounge, which people have been messing around with, but this is a twin sofa front lounge that makes seat bolted seats, so, and then a rear seat bolted seat. Drop down king size bed, same as a 640. Drop down that to make a double bed, and then two rear bunks, one that's down and the other one that drops down electrically above it with a mid washroom. So it's a five berth, low profile, five seat belt, three and a half ton, 7.2 meter family van. <laughs> uh, 73.95, you'd pay 78 plus bits, so about 79 for one of them new today. And you can have this one straight away. And it's better than new because uh, someone else has tested it for you, which is the way to do it. Don't go through the teething niggles. Get someone else to do it. Get some extras and save some money. So we are Highbridge Motorhomes Devon. We've got, as I say, a great selection of things. Come and see us. Come and see us at the NEC. If you're not from around here, you're going to the NEC. I'm Jody. I'll be on Adria. James, my uh, sales colleague, will be on Wild Axe. We will also have people as Highbridge on Rapido and... Any other, anybody else that's there as well which I can't think of because my brain's gone to mush or come and see us down at Newton Abbott that's the A38 there, that's Exeter that's Plymouth, that's the M5 dead easy to get to and literally you can see it there, it runs right past us you just turn off here straight into us you can give us a call if you like anything or you've got any questions about anything you've seen in this video at all you can give us a call on 01626 832 792 Check us out at the hybridcaravans.co.uk website. We have been having some computer issues, which has stopped us updating the website. I think they're sorted now. Oh, just come and see us. Uh, leave a comment or give us a call. We're busy doing videos. You can call me direct if you want 07432 and ask us about the wonderful world of Highbridge Motorhomes Devon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.